Okay, guys. Been a few people uh, DM me and leave comments and stuff saying they'd like me to do a job a little bit better where you can see it when I'm tying this uh, stinger hook back on here. So we're going to try this again. And we're going to go through what you need. You're going to need 50 pound mono. And we're going to use some yellow braid this time. And you're going to need uh, some split ring pliers. Split ring. You're going to need a little rubber band off a kokanee size cut plug. You need a treble hook and a single hook. You need some cutters. And you need some super glue. So I'm going to... Uh, Send you off again, see this thing in action for a minute, and then uh, I'll see you guys back here and we'll tie it for you. Finger hook, we never got that fish. Got one hook right there in the nose. That's why they tear out. We get those tape down, they take it down really hard, a couple times a dunk. If you get this hook was in there, the only one, it would have tore out, but this stinger held it. Right there. Yep, I'll show you how I can get them out of there. Right there. See, there's that stinger. That did it. Without that stinger, we wouldn't have got this fish in. Okay, guys. I hope you like seeing that in action. So now we're going to uh, show you how to tie it up. Maybe a little bit more difficult doing it with this braid, but we're gonna give her a try. Go through your eye once, you make a loop, go back through your eye again, leave your tag out there a little bit, and then you have a loop like that, see? Now you're gonna take this end, which is the same end that comes out here, <clears throat> You're going to wrap it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight wraps. And then you're going to slide them down. <clears throat> and you want to pull on your tag. And when you get it tight. Now you don't really have to wet this that much because it's not tight when you're pulling it up. When you get to right here where you're going to cinch it where it would start burning, it's just tight. All you're doing is just tightening it up. So right there. You want to cut off your tag. Now, you should have, oh, foot 18 inches left. You want plenty. It's cheap compared to running short. Now, on your treble hook, you want to go through the eye once. Now, this is going to be a little difficult because it's going to be floppy. With a mono, it would be nice and stiff. You know, nice and stiff, like on here. See? But just for demonstration purposes. And then you want to size it where you want it. Some people like it way out here. Some people like it up close. I like it pretty close. Now, keep in mind, too, when you pull it tight, you're going to get a little bit back out of it. It's going to become a little bit longer, in other words. And you make your loop again. I like going through the opposite direction. Like this, see? Now, hold that all together like that. Pull some tag out there because we don't need that big of a loop. Make sure you're not tangled up around your treble hook. And now start winding from the front to the back. <clears throat> Make sure you go around this tag every time. Make sure you, that tag goes out, see? There's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Now, take your tag and pull it. 
make sure you got them up there all good and you pull on the stinger hook and at the same time get it nice and tight like that and then now what I do normally when I learned these from uh, Chris Turvey and Scott Call from here it, they put a couple beads on it run through the cut plug go on up your leader line and this would become your leader and uh, tie whatever you want on the other end but what I'm what I did I've taken it a step further is I want to make this remote I'm gonna make it to where I can put it through anything I want so you go through it's just like you're making a half hitch so you have to go through this way and then you come through here like this now you got to go an extra time the first time so you're like doing it twice and pull it up pull that nice and tight and then do it one more time you don't have to go through it twice the second time pull that up nice and tight trim it leaving just a little bit of a tag on there now this is where it gets kind of tricky take your uh, rubber band stick it on here now this I like the rubber band you can use other things but I like the rubber band because of the fact that it's not you know like wired to it so if you get a hook on it can pull it like this it's got a little gift a little stretch to it that way it won't break or bind or something like that now you want to take a little super glue put it right on your knot those two half hitches you did because you want to keep it from sliding down the hook if you just get a lot of pressure on this one it pulls it'll be pulling down there where you know when it's this is also your leader going through the cut plug and everything it's equalized pressure but you you got to make it stop right here so you don't want it to be able to pull down there so there you go here it is on here and uh, I think you'll find you'll you'll land more fish with this rig especially when they're hitting short because when they're hitting short they're hitting aggressive they come up and they hit it from the side when they're hitting short they just come up and they just kind of nip it from behind and then they get this hook in they only get one hook in their mouth like you saw on the video but they, they get the stinger hook in there too then you got two of them and you got a much better chance of getting your fish in the boat so uh, if you use this i think you'll find you'll get more fish in the boat